Welcome to round 17 of the 2011 Formula One World Championship. I'm Matt Daly. I work in the simulator team at McLaren, and this will be the first time India's ever hosted an F1 race. The circuit is 5.1 kilometres long. It's made up of 16 corners. It's characterised mostly by the long straights and tight corners of sector one, and by the fast chicanes and the long turn 10 and 11 of sectors two and three. Getting a new circuit together in the simulator is one of the biggest challenges and one of the most rewarding aspects of working in the simulator team. New additions to the simulator track models are normally much easier to do when the circuit's ready in plenty of time. We can get a good survey, we can get lots of photos, and that helps us to make sure that things are as accurate as possible for when the test and race drivers come in to do their prep work. But for circuits such as this in India, where the track isn't ready long before the start of the race, we have to go more off our sort of knowledge and experience, and especially that of our track modelers, in terms of putting the curb detailing and curb heights in. Things like track bumpiness are a complete unknown and may play a big part in setup work on Friday at the track. This is our best guess at what we've got, and I'll be watching as much as anybody else on the Friday to see what changes that we might have to include back here in the factory for all the debrief work. We're joined on board now for a lap of the circuit. As we come down the main straight, big grandstand on the left-hand side and the new pit buildings on the right. It's the braking zone for turn one. This is a second gear corner, 110 kilometers an hour. Turn three will be very interesting for the drivers with a very blind apex hairpin coming onto a very long back straight. In the simulator, we can do things like put bollards on the corner to help the drivers with sight lines and things, but at the track, we don't know what they're gonna do in this respect. The long back straight is 1.2 kilometers long and it's the likely position for the DRS activation zone. Coming into turn four, it's a second gear 90 kilometers per hour corner that opens out with a beautiful downhill view of most of the circuit. It's now all about setting yourself up for the fast flowing sections of turn five, six, seven, entering at about 190 kph, getting down to about 145 kph, before again a fast right and left hander going through the apexes at around 200 kilometers an hour. Turn 10 and 11 is a 230 degree right hand corner. The car will be laterally loaded for something like 8 to 9 seconds and it's likely to be the big front left tyre killer. Turn 13 and 14 is another fast chicane entering at about 200 km an hour and a blind apex turn 15 sets you up for the end of the lap coming down to turn 16 which is a second gear corner probably something like 90 kph which delivers you back onto the start finish straight. This has been a lap of the Bud International Circuit. We hope you've enjoyed it and we're sure India will deliver a great race.